Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to merge data. So this is the, uh, I would say, you know, this is the survey that was sent out. And here, um, the part of survey was sent out to, you know, heavy organic user and part of survey was sent out to the light organic users. Uh, so only these two sets were different, but rest of all the questions were given to all the participants. So, uh, so the data set is as such divided for by like into two sets, uh, one for this set and one for that set, but all other are common. So the the thing is that like, you know, uh, out of 10 questions here that you see here, seven are common. So let's say one, two, three, and four, if you read, they're exactly similar and likewise others. So only thing that is different is five, nine, and 10. So what we want to do is we want to merge these two sets into one and we already created an indicator item that indicates one as heavy organic users and zero as light organic users. Uh, and the reason we want to do this is because so that we can use the entire data set when we are doing advanced statistical analysis like structural equation modeling. So having said that, let's go ahead and do it. So, uh, just to show you the variable here, these are the 10 items and these are my seven items so first four are exactly similar so we can do it but i'll here show you only one for the recording purposes and you can just you know do the similar thing with the rest so how you do that so we use uh recording to same item and uh so this is what i want to record old value i know it's minus 99 so i want to record that into one right uh, if uh, this value here let's say this value is equals one but we have five value because it was measured in a in a five point likert scale and that will be too much to do one by one so what i can do here is i can use do if uh, statement so i'll click on the paste here that will open my this editor and we can just you know indent the code so it looks proper all we have to do here i just copy this one paste it here ah, not this one sorry copy this one and paste it here and we'll say this is else okay that's it and then we can copy this one for three more times, two, three, five. So we have all five and we are going to change this to, this is one is good, this is two, this is three, four, five. So this should be two, three, four, five. Okay. And that is it. And we'll see this in action. So if you go to the data view here, this, okay. So this is one variable and here is another one. So this we want to copy here. So if, if I do the descending, all these five should be copied here as five and henceforth. And if you run that command, it'll do it so let me minimize this one so that i can show you how this is working so if i select all of it and run see it's all being done and in the interest of the video i'm not going to cross check these values they are already cross checked but this is how you copy it and uh, ho i hope this is very useful because this command is extremely powerful and now all we need to do is all other variable we just need to change the name and run the code again 
uh this is it for this video thank you very much for watching